Welcome to Bemba, lesson number 36. We'll look at the structure of Bemba sentences. A sentence is like a short story. A good story will tell you all the information you need to know about an event. Who is the protagonist? What's happening? When does the plot unfold? And whom does it affect? A Bemba sentence, like any good story, answers all these questions. The person who did it is also called the subject. When something happens can be described by a lot of different tenses. Here, we will just look at four commonly used tenses. Past tense, simple present tense, every day. Present continuous tense, right now. Future tense. In constructing a Bemba sentence, the order of words is subject, tense, action verb, object. The action verb is the heart of the sentence. Like a train, the verb is led by the subject and tense. To get to the heart of the story quickly, abbreviations are used for the subject and for the tense. Shortcuts are used instead of the name of the subject and object to avoid repeating their names unnecessarily. Personal pronouns are I, Ine, you, singular, Iwe, you, plural, Imwe, he, she, Uyu. They Awa. We Ifwe. In a sentence, each of these pronouns is carried by a shortcut. I N. You singular. U. You plural. Mu. He, she. A. They Wa. We Tu. The information comes connected in a particular order. The shortcut for the pronoun is connected to the next piece of information, which is the tense. The verb is introduced after that. This will become clearer with the use of some example sentences. Take this sentence in past tense. I cooked vegetables. If we color code the sentence to indicate the different pieces of information, we get in color. I cooked vegetables. Nari ipika umusalu. The N indicates who. The Ali indicates the past tense. The next example is in simple present tense, every day. I cook vegetables. Nda ipika umusalu. If we color code the sentence to indicate the different pieces of information, we get I cook vegetables. Nda ipika umusalu. Vowel contraction leads to Nde pika umusalu. The N indicates who. The D indicates the simple present tense. The next example is in the present continuous tense, right now. I am cooking vegetables. Nde ipika umusalu. If we color code the sentence to indicate the different pieces of information, we get I am cooking vegetables. The N indicates who. The D indicates the present continuous tense. Lastly, an example in the future tense. I will cook vegetables. If we color code the sentence to indicate the different pieces of information, we get I will cook vegetables. The N indicates who. The ka indicates the future tense. Thus we see that the tenses are indicated by li, la, le, ka. Now let's do some exercises. Exercise 1. Using this table, see if you can determine who the subject is for each sentence. The action verb is to hum. Uku isa. Fusion of vowels makes it Ukuisa. Come is isa in the past tense. Nalisa. Mualisa. Vali isa. Twalisa. Wali isa. Alisa. Here are the answers. Neli Isa is I came. Mu Ali Isa, 
fusion of vowels makes it Mwali Isa is you came. Bali Isa is they came. Twali Isa is we came. Wali Isa is you came. Ali Isa is he slash she came. Thank you, Amanda, for that excellent presentation. Here are some words for you to work on on your own. Ipika umsalu, fire amani, and leta umukaka. Till next time.